I'm Mike Anderson online. I go by Diabolim. Um, a lot of the work that I do centers around like the gothic sort of art style. I like exploring those um, darker themes. Uh, psychology is very important in a lot of the work that I do. And even outside of that, I, I like to dabble in a little bit of everything. So I like some comedy stuff and I like very cartoony things. So it's a little bit of everything that you're going to find with my artwork. I read through it and I was like, I can do something cool with this. Like there's some, there's a lot of leeway to really express my creativity with this brief. So that's the main reason why I wanted to do it so badly. Well, to be fair, it was quite short. First of all, um, usually getting a brief, there's a lot like, make sure that this is in it, make sure that you do this and it has to be animated in this way. You have to use these colors sort of situation. But the brief itself was just, can you make an animation about legacy that is a minute and 30 seconds? For the characters, um, I purposefully made them to be very, very dull, I'd say. Like, no, I want them to be stylistically distinctive um, so that it, it was like interesting to look at, but I made them like a blank slate almost because I wanted it to represent that like anyone can be put in this situation. You can project yourself onto either role and you can either be someone who was negatively effective, affected or positively impacted. And I want people to be able to look at that and not see like a caricature that they, that they can distinct themselves from. I want them to be able to be like, that could be me. And for the plot, when I was thinking about legacy, because I've, I've never really thought about what legacy means to me before. I've never really had to think about it. Um, so when I first saw it, I was like, oh, well, that's like, you know, when an object gets passed down or like, and it, my, the first thing that came to my head, to be fair, was material items. But I'm like, that I don't want to just stick with that, though, because that's not as hard hitting. Like, that doesn't, Im you, you can detach yourself from an animation where it's just like a, an object is getting passed down because like oh that doesn't relate to me this this isn't about me um so I wanted it to have more of like an emotional hit which is why I tried to think more about it and I was like no I want to what what like attitudes can get passed down what attitudes can you perpetuate that change the world um and that's really where the plot came from just a sense of you know I don't want it to just be about like this is just a story and then we forget about it. I want it to be like, this is something that happens and I want people to resonate with it and remember it. And that's where it, the idea came from to have more of like an emotional um, plot. I thought of the idea of um, wanting to do something that was a bit more hard hitting. So I was actually looking at quotes relating to legacy and I saw that one and I was like, yeah, I can do something with this one. That, that's perfect that. But I didn't, uh, at the same time, I also didn't just want to go for like, I, I guess I didn't want it to feel too like primary schoolish where it's just like, be kind. And I feel like there's more, th there's more you can do with that instead of just like, you know, be nice and that's that like it, it's important it, it, I need to show like why it's important to and what are the consequences for not like displaying those behaviors family wise I have not experienced anything um similar to what has been displayed in my animation I actually come from very good home life which is a good thing um but I've had like personal experiences that really made me very bitter after what like after they'd happened I became very like I, I closed people off I got like way angry at people for the longest time and it wasn't until like I think it like after lockdown is when it really started to change because I was like seeing people and like I was getting help and everything um I started trying to like live a bit more. I did things that I 
had didn't have any faith in myself to do like I started going to like dance classes and stuff like that I met new people I went to different places it kind of like struck with us because obviously I was getting help at the same time and I was like I don't have to just repeat what like people have done to me the long like after so long of just not wanting to really interact with anyone anymore and I was like no I'm living again and those experiences that I've had are not a correlation to who I am now they don't have to be a correlation I'm only 21 like I've got the rest of my life and that was one experience and while yes it impacted me a lot it doesn't have to be a negative impact like I can change that I don't have to be what people expected like oh he went through this so he's gonna too too late but it doesn't have to be like that. And I came to realize that quite recently. Yeah, I didn't want to give them any distinctive voices. I wanted it to feel like, again, it's this whole idea of um, wanting to project yourself into these characters, make them as much of a blank slate as possible while still keeping it stylistic. And for the sound, I, I wanted like, th there's always, there's these little like noises and stuff that I put in like the clock ticking and stuff like that. It just, even the heels clicking is like the mother walks away, stuff like that. It's, it's very little things, but it's so good at setting the tone and it's so good at making her seem way more like she's been corrupted by life. And it's so much more like powerful to see that when you've just got these like quiet noises, the music in the background is very dull, but the, the sound effects, they're very carefully chosen to just be all like, this woman's been corrupted and she is not gonna turn away from that anymore. Like she's just fully, fully gone, which is why like, as the movie goes on, um, the sounds get a lot more like very calm. You've got the sound of rain as it's like hitting the window and and every like the color comes back into the scene and everything and it's like she went through that path but it's got like a, a, a ending a bittersweet ending of like but he didn't choose that he's he doesn't he's not like that so do you have to be like that proud because i feel like it i, I did what i set out to do like send a powerful message and i really like dug deep into that sort of like personal territory made something that resonated with a lot of other people. I had people coming up to me afterwards, um, like the, you know, the performers when they were saying like, oh, when I first watched this, I cried. And I was like, I, well, then I set out what I aim to do. It, it, I'm, I'm obviously, I'm not just like going around trying to make people cry and everything, but uh, <laughs> I hope that well, the, the emotional aspect, yes, but I hope that if anyone is in like a similar situation at that point in time and sees that film, that they can look at it and then they can reflect it on themselves and be able, and recognize that they're in that situation, but then also come to the conclusion that they can get out of it and that they don't have to perpetuate the behaviors of the people they're around, whether that be like just being around people with, you know, who are negative or, like they're in an abusive situation that they don't have to perpetuate what they did. And there, there is more life than like outside of this bubble that you've been trapped in for so long. Um, and even then, even if someone is not in a situation like that or has never been in a situation like that, it can show them the warning signs of those situations so that they don't ever have to experience them. Or maybe they can empathize with someone who is in the, that situation that they know. Um, there's a lot of things that, that can be taken out of it, no matter who you are or what you've experienced. Um, uh, like I'm hoping that through, again, that what I want out of this film and the people that watch it, I want them to know that like, that's okay. Even if people don't listen to you initially, that's that's okay. There will be people who want to help you. There are going to be people to help you. And 
like it's it, it's never the end there's all there's always more <laughs> the, the film kind of speaks for itself in a lot of ways um over anything that i could say with words that's why i'm an artist i'm better with uh just putting stuff on paper just brain spilling than <laughs> i am vocally 